Hi, and welcome to the Summit on MidwestSports.net's YouTube channel. I'm Joey McWilliams. Glad to be with you today, and thank you for joining me on this. Well, it's a very nice day where I am. I hope it looks like it's a nice day where John Cooper is in Florida right now. John Cooper, the purveyor of NAIF ball. And John, I got to tell you, man, it's nice, first off, just to get to see you and get to visit again with you a little bit. Joey, I can't tell you just how beautiful it's been out here. I know the world's in a crisis right now. And, uh, you know, we just had the governor of Florida coming and welcoming every professional sports league, any commissioner, their state wouldn't let them play. He said Florida is available. And I look outside. I'm based right outside Tallahassee, Florida, about um, 30 to 45 minutes away from where he made the announcement. It's a beautiful day outside. Man, that is an awesome, awesome thing to hear. I am really glad to hear that. Glad for Florida, glad for sports in general, and and so that is just, that's great. Look, let's get to uh, something that is going on even today, and that's something that that you've been a big part of. It's the, the logo wars. I mean, we haven't had a chance to do much with actual sport competition on the field, the pitch, the court, you name it, the diamond doesn't matter. But we've had some competition within the NAI schools, and it seemed to be pretty fun. Absolutely. So we started last year, Joey, with doing helmet wars, where, you know, and the schools really bought into this. You know, you got 90 plus schools in the NAI, and they really went all out um, showcasing their helmets, their alternate helmets, what future helmets might be. We had the University of Pikeville out of Kentucky win that last year. And now we decided to go a different way. You know, a lot of times fans talk about in recruiting, you know, for instance, I'm right by Tallahassee, Florida State University. They've been terrible forever, but <laughs> uh, not forever, but for the past three years. But they have a great job recruiting because they say their logo holds weight. So my partner, Corey Thorpe, who does a great job, we talked about doing just something similar. And there's a cliche going around the sports world saying does your logo hold weight you know you might have a bad season here or there but does your logo hold weight where people know about it where an 18 year old kid and they're deciding on it, they're like i know that and you know nai is one of the smaller leagues but there's some people that know those logos right and uh, you know we're, we're excited to host the finals starting tonight um you got oklahoma panhandle state university and then you got dort and we are excited for those two. They've had excellent fan representation. Um, you know, like you said, we haven't had live sports. Um, and we let our NAIA base know that we're, we're a year around the count. You know, football doesn't stop. We don't stop. I guarantee you those NAIA coaches are in Zoom meetings with their guys and doing something with their guys. So we don't stop either. As long as they're still going, we're still going. You know, Dort and Panhandle State, both within the MidwestSports.net footprint as well. So we're not going to endorse either one of those right now, but just cheer on both of them because, and they do have some 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 cool logos, great fan bases as well. So uh, that that's something neat to be a part of. I, I enjoy that. It's, again, just some way, some way to keep sports going, and I think that's pretty cool. I liked the helmet wars that you had last year as well, too. I thought that was pretty cool. Well, you know, it's not just that that's going on, but – you introduced something else today, a part of the NAIA F-Ball family, if you will. It's uh, going to be a big part of what you do this season going forward. Right. We just got a sponsorship from a, you know, a, a small graphic designer um, under the brand name Hype Tunes. They're well known for um, you know, recruits from Division One, Division Two, Three, NAI, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, what we would really like to, to make with that partnership there is, you know, you have conference players of the week, um, NAI national players of the week. We really want to get a media incentment involved in there. Um, we're thinking about handing out, like, these holographic desktop stickers for the player of the week. But we're also thinking about doing uh, what he makes is they call tykes, Joey. They're really cool. So it's basically like um, taking a real-life picture and making a cartoon version of yourself. And we're thinking about making the tyke player of the week or the hype tune player of the week um so something that's earned just a nice little incentive for the guys uh something to look forward to you know what, what all we do for the nai is uh for the players you know and there's just little ideas i think that could be established on and uh branded on so i really hope the kids like 
you know, we're pulling up your site right now and, uh, or at least the, the Twitter version of your site. Uh, that's where folks can find you for sure. NAIF ball on Twitter. And if you look and, and let me, uh, take an opportunity to scroll down just a little bit. This is, uh, this is what you were talking about some as well, right? Uh, these, these graphics that can be a part of what they do. Those look sharp, man. Those absolutely are. And you know, um, it, What's interesting, Joey, is most of NAI is uh, getting that big level mentality where even their graphic design department, their social media departments on the rise. Um, you know, it, it's really cool seeing those edits. And, you know, our kids, just the kids at NAI, you know, they put on a great product if you watch them. So they deserve that to me. And uh, so we're going to try to make that happen. Um, you know, really excited to make this partnership with high tunes. And then we got some other things in the fire that we hope to bring out later. But, uh, Joey, for your listeners that don't know, we're able to make a couple NAI games a year, just like you're maybe making your, uh, your footprint areas each year. I know you're always on the road. Uh, we <laughs> want to be like you, Joey. And, uh, well, so we, we've been to the national championship two years running we're definitely going back to Grambling this third year. Um, Grambling was amazing host. They're up in northern Louisiana. Joey, I think I ate gumbo every night there. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm you totally should. excited. You know, in, in your footprint area too, um, you know, and not getting ahead of myself, we didn't have a spring, but I'm really interested to see if Morningside can go for number three. Um, we haven't really got to talk to coach Ryan yet, but I, I'm excited for next year. You know, and, and, uh, without jumping too far, that actually, uh, the stop up there at Morningside is tentatively in the works for Midwest sports Saturday this year. So I'm, I'm hoping, I am definitely hoping that, uh, that we get to stop by up there as well. And I don't see why not. This is a team that is built to just continue going and, and going and going. So, um, yeah, it, it should be fun to watch the Mustangs. Well, before I let you go, John, and I, again, I definitely want everyone to to go to Twitter and to vote for your favorite logo, obviously, of the two that are in the championship there. But thinking about uh, what's ahead, you know, it's not going to be that far. You talked about Morningside. We're not that far removed, probably, from looking at preseason top 25s as well. You know, Joey, I think the top three teams um, – you know, I'm going off record on this, but, uh, you know, I think the top three teams to look out for next year are number one, Morningside. Um, you know, they, they got the receiver quarterback combo coming back and, you know, just you, you're not going to break just the uh, what they have there. And it's the culture they have. You don't win a decade worth of GPAC championships, you know, <laughs> by just not reloading. Number two is uh, Grandview. I um, really like what Coach Woodley does there. Um, you know, I wish the NAI would have did the right thing and not worried about the traveling issue in the semifinals. I, I think no disrespect to Marion. Marion was absolutely awesome. But I was kind of rooting for an all-Iowa national championship. I, I think that just would have been something just profound there. No disrespect. Marion was a snap away, a bounce away from winning the national title themselves, though. Um, I wish the NAI would have gave a chance for that to happen. Um, and then number three is Lindsey Wilson. They were they were pretty close themselves to making the national championship. Um, you know, their quarterback's returning. Um, Coach Oliver, I believe, is going into his 11th year at Lindsey Wilson. He started that program up. But those are the three teams to watch for. Um, just we're really excited about that. Yeah, I, I think so, too. And I agree with you wholeheartedly. And I actually was cheering for that all-Iowa championship if that would have been able to have taken place of course the bracket didn't didn't really allow for that to happen but you know what uh, I think your top three are, are very sound and I look forward to seeing all three of those teams play next year and and uh, hopefully even get to see even one or more on site too that would be a lot of fun with Midwest Sports Saturday getting back on the road well hey John we're making our plans already and trying to to get everything down and believing that we're going to be able to get on the road and get it done. So, you know. Joey, before we before we end, let's let's talk about the huge news that hasn't been received as huge that people might not know. 
but the NAI now has women's college flag football. Oh my goodness! Shit. Well, we can't we can't not talk about that. I, I'm excited about that. Joey, I am absolutely pumped because that gives us more stuff in the off season to cover. There you like, go. I, I want to get to those games. Uh, Florida's really taking a big. Um, the Sun Division teams down south is really invested in it. Uh, Kansas Wesleyan out there is invested in. It. I expect a lot more. 2021, the spring is when it first starts. So you know we're we're you know just less than a year. Yeah, we we uh, we definitely have promoted that as well. Gotten the NIA release out uh, on a number of the uh, the MidwestSports.net and and even Emerald Quest sites. And a little bit of news that that will keep for for the future. But we there will be some expansion with our coverage in Emerald West uh, Emerald Quest Media. But I agree with you. Yeah, and not just Kansas Wesleyan, even Ottawa uh, making some news as well with that. This is this is big. And I, I think it's really neat that the announcement has come then in the middle of all this where it's been, and, and you'll see the, when, as, as we put this up, the hashtag time of no sports. Well, we're still in the time of no sports, but things aren't slowing down. I was really pleased that the NAI, the NFL, uh, the reigning champs experience all went together and went ahead with the release. Yeah, Joey, so it's it's awesome to see that the NAI baseball has a partnership with Major League Baseball. Um, you know, just getting the NFL into the fold of things here in NAI is awesome, especially with flag football. Um, you know, off the top of my head, I cannot remember, but, you know, you saw the commercials of the San Francisco 49ers having a female office assistant coach. Well, her sister is going to be the head coach of Ottawa, Kansas, yeah. flag football team. That I think that has to be, um, you know, off the top of my head, that's probably the first female collegiate football coach. <laughs> you know, even if it's flag football, that's that's right. history right there. You know, so it's it's absolutely awesome to see. And she plays quarterback as well in the professional leagues that with which she's dealing. So yes, I mean, this is we're talking about some star power that is coming to this league right off the bat. So it's something that you and I are both going to be following, we'll be promoting, and I look forward to speaking about it more and talking with you about it more in the very near future. John Cooper, NAIF Ball, you need to stop by the Twitter account. And by the way, John, you and Corey, uh, really quickly then, uh, the interviews you all have been doing, I mean, you all haven't really skipped a beat because you, you're continuing getting to visit with the, the, the NAI football coaches as well. Your podcast, how do they find it? If you go to any podcast streaming service, Spotify, iTunes, whatever you want, you type in just NAI F ball, you're going to find it. Um, you know, our off season we use as interviewing these head coaches, catching up with them, establishing relationships. You're not going to get coach speak when we come on. We tell them don't do that. You know, you're in the NAI. It is what it is. You know, is we're a rough and tough crew in the NAI. Uh, you're going to get some valuable insight of what really goes on. All right. Well, stop by there, and you need to check these out as uh, John and Corey are doing a great job. NAIF Ball, stop by and visit the, the Twitter account to be sure and vote. So I'm Joey McWilliams. I want to say thanks to all of you for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel. We would appreciate that. Stop by John and Corey's sites as well. In the meantime, thank you for watching this issue or this edition of the Summit, and uh, we appreciate that. God bless you. Have a great day.